you know, people know we're, we're not ignorant. We are not, we don't have our heads in the sand. We know what's going on out here. We are not that stupid. But, you know, for things like this to happen and to just be able to throw something away and just say, well, it just doesn't exist. Well, to me, it's just, I, I go back to that, who, who's above the law? Who, who gets to do this and just simply wipe out something that was, I was asked to do a truth statement. I made my truth to the best of my absolute ability. I took that very serious. And, uh, and then for someone to come along and just go, well, you know, um, don't really, doesn't really exist. I, I, I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. And how, how can that happen? And, uh, who gets held responsible for anything like this anyway? How, you know, where, what happened? I, I don't know. I don't know. They're all obviously need to get it. And let me tell you, I changed three different attorneys and, uh, they all, uh, were all, uh, giving you all these things and all these things that could be done and, and crush this nonsense and then they talk to the other side and everything changes and I get sabotage from all directions. So I don't know. I don't know what's, but it's all unbelievable. And it's not just all that is happening to me. It's what happens to people because then exactly. they'll be deprived yeah, of exactly. children. Exactly. And, and, and it does, and it is, and it is to, to all people. It's just like one, one, it's not, you know, I think it's that thing about once you start lying, it's just one after another. It's kind of like wildfire. Uh, yeah. You can't, it's one cover up after another cover up after another co- cover up. Is if you tell the truth from the beginning, you know, well, that's different. You're, you're locked into that. And you won't yeah, but then it. with the truth, the, the lawsuit shouldn't have even have ever been filed. And that's right. But it was filed. But it was filed not because uh, of interest for the uh, plaintiff. She's just a pet being used uh, for their uh, their agenda, and it's just pathetic. But I really appreciate your helping me and helping everybody. Really trying oh. to get the word out. This is what's going on. Oh, you're really more than appreciate. welcome. Yes, this needs to be help all people, just all people, and and anyone uh, who is is whoever chooses to look. For alternative ways, they, it should be uh, a democracy of freedom of choice. Still, I mean, that's just the way it should be. And I'm hoping that people will, uh, you know, get past some of this garbage or uh, yeah. terrible things that are getting put out there that are not the truth. And I would hope that they would listen to those of us who are telling the truth and. Uh, I just, I guess I just don't really have any, anything else to say other than I have told the truth today and, uh, and I do feel awesome and I'm just very thankful again, uh, Dr. Carpenter that you have, uh, continued to be there for me and, uh, and, uh, again, that should have something to say about something seven years later. Uh, having, you know, been diagnosed with a breast cancer, I am still alive, well, and kicking. And, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of people can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and that's the best part of it all. It really is. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That makes it, you know, that makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Even though I'm, it's pretty difficult I'm, to get through all of this. It's, sometimes it's really difficult to get through, but, you know, then you hear people saying, you know, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for... It, it's exactly. What? I tell you, what I had going on for people, viewers out there, or listeners, I should say, what I had going on with my body is just unbelievable. I look back at it now, and I just, I don't even know how in the world... I am alive. It actually makes me ill to look at pictures that we took, and uh, yeah. it's just—it's just an, an incredible. If there is ever a miracle 
uh, you know, as people talk about miracles, and yes, we do have them. A lot of people don't believe in them, but I'm telling you, if you ever would consider believing in a miracle, this should be one of them because it was a lot to take care of, and uh, it did exactly that. And um, but I just, it's not. The miracle is that I am doing it because of all the opposition. I'm still doing it, but the rest is just science. It's just that people don't want to. The ones that are opposing it are the ones that don't want to recognize that it is because a miracle will happen only once and then it won't be repeated. But the science you can repeat over and over, and there be there are uh, other cases like yours. You're not the only one, yeah. and so. Yeah. Uh, it, it is a miracle in your life that you were able to find and I was able to offer it. And, and every yeah. day the question is, will the, the enemy succeed and, 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 and be successful in stopping me or not? I'm fighting, but, you know, I have a lot of enemies that they have a lot of power, a lot of money that I don't have. Yes, I, and, I, uh, I understand. That I, will be the, the miracle will be being able to continue doing this. Yes. That's what... And that's what it will be, but as far as the results, those are just normal results because it is based on science. I am, but I am really happy that you were able to find us and we were able to help you. And now you're back. That's what I want to see. People going back to normal life. Yeah. And yeah, they'll always remember what they went through, but they went back to normal life and life is just great. Yes. Yeah, it's just now. normal. That's, that's right. Yeah. And I was, I was just speaking for myself because I'm just so, elated over my own situation and to me to me it's a a miracle for myself for sure and uh, others i'm you know i'm sure they're like you said elated too it's like not like i'm the only yeah. person out here yeah no and there is a lady that is coming next and the guest that shows that she's gonna have her story and she was she's had a long years of battle and uh, she's doing really well that happens okay it yeah. happens to a lot of people, but they have to stay away from poison. They cannot keep taking poison and radiation. They're not going to make it. So that's exactly. the exactly, and that's that's the beauty of things. I I'm just so glad that I didn't uh, partake of something else or listen to something else. That that was my savings grace. Is that I had yeah. the the strength or wisdom or whatever not to go for anything else but to continue I, and it makes it should make sense with anything anything else in life that we do you mix it with something else how do you know the outcome and how can you sit there and point a finger if something seems to not have worked as well well it probably won't if you mix things um yeah. that don't necessarily they don't both need they to don't mix they don't go to get it yeah. then you just I overdo i mean you know then that's just you know well you know trouble. once you kill the tumor if you go for standard treatment would somebody with that cancer go for cancer treatment and get that poison no so but but admitting that it's no longer cancer that's the big thing okay the industry has a yeah. fit. But anyway, I thank you a lot for being with us and, and giving yeah. the information out. Thank you very much. Thank really you very much. It. And God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.